All right, in this video, we're gonna do the mixed review part 11 for the ATIT's math test. And these two problems are similar to problems 23 and 24 found in the mathematics sections quiz in the study manual. So 23, Carrie cleans houses as a side job. For dusting, she charges $16 per room. For vacuuming, she charges $12 per room. So far this month, she has made $552. She knows that she has dusted 18 rooms. How many rooms has she vacuumed? So we got two different charges going on here. We got $16 per room for dusting, $12 per room for vacuuming. We also know that she has made $552 this month and 18 rooms have been dusted. So we wanna figure out how many rooms she has vacuumed. Well, 18 rooms and she charges $16 per room for dusting. So the first thing we wanna do here, if she knows she has dusted 18 rooms, at $16 per room, we can take 18 times 16 because if she's going to make $16 per room and she has dusted 18 rooms, the product multiplying these two numbers together will tell you how much money she's made off of dusting. So $16 per room times 18 rooms, she's made $288 out of the $552 this month for just dusting rooms. So there's our 288 bucks. Now, whatever's left over from this, uh, if we take the $552 that she's made this month and we subtract $288, the remaining amount is gonna be how much money she made off of vacuuming. So let's take $552 and subtract 288. The 552 minus the 288 gives us $264 remaining out of the $552. The $264 is what she made off of vacuuming rooms. So with this $264, if we divide by 12, now we could ask ourselves this question. We know that Carrie made $12 per room. So if I take $12 times the number of rooms that were vacuumed, we know now that this is gonna be equal to 264 bucks. And the reason why, that is what's left over from the $552 after we took off the amount of money she made from dusting rooms. Now, a way to solve this equation, if you didn't know to divide back here, maybe this will remind you, $12 times the number of rooms vacuumed is equal to 264. So we divide by 12 to figure out what R is equal to, and in this case, this R is gonna be the number of rooms that were vacuumed. So therefore, we take 264, divide by 12, and we get 22 rooms. So this is going to be the number of rooms that were vacuumed, and that's what we wanted to answer here in this question. We can check our work by multiplying back through. So let's go back through this one more time. 18 rooms dusted at $16 per room. Well, 18 rooms times $16 per room, that's $288. That's how much money she made off of dusting. And now if we take the 22 rooms that were vacuumed, 22 rooms that were vacuumed, the answer to our question times $12 per room, we get $264. So these two amounts, the 288 that she made off of dusting plus the 264 she made off of vacuuming gives us that total of $552 for the month. So therefore the answer to our question is she vacuumed 22 rooms. Question 24 deals with percentages. There are 48 people in a meeting. 20 of the people in the meeting are women. What percentage of the people in the meeting are men? Multiple approaches here. One approach is to figure out first how many men are in the meeting. Notice we're given 20 people. Those 20 people are women. So we can go ahead and take the 48 people in all, subtract the 20 women. That leaves us with 28 men in the meeting. I figured out how many men were in the meeting because we want to find the percentage of the people in the meeting that are men. I'm going to show you two approaches here, but let me go ahead and finish this one, then I'll show you a second approach. Now, obviously you wanna stick with one approach here because the T's test is time, but it's good for me to show you multiple approaches to one question. So therefore, 28 out of 48 of those people in the meeting are actually men. 20 of them were women, 28 of them were men. So one way to do this is that we can divide 28 divided by 48 
get that decimal and convert that decimal to a percent. Then we will worry about rounding to the nearest tenth of a percent. So therefore, 28 out of 48, we get a decimal of 0.583 and the three gets repeated. So I wanna write that down. So 28 divided by 48 is approximately 0.583 and this three gets repeated so we can put a bar over that. Now this is a decimal. We want to find a percentage. One way you can quickly find a percentage is to move the decimal two places to the right. Well, if we move the decimal two places to the right, we get 58.3. And I'm going to write a few more of these threes out. Really, those threes keep on going. But this is our percentage here, 58.3333333333%. Now, we want to round to the nearest tenth of a percent. We do not want to round here because this is our decimal representation. We want to round here because this is our percentage representation. So if we round this to the nearest tenth of a percent, this three here tells that three in the tenth spot to stay the same. So therefore, our answer to this question is 58.3% of the people in the meeting are men. Because remember, we did figure out how many men were in the meeting. And showing you this decimal conversion, a way you can convert a decimal to a percent is to move it two places to the right, the decimal, two places to the right. That is the same thing as multiplying by 100. And notice we get 58.3 repeated. This is when you want to round as we did down here. Now, a second approach to this problem is to take the 20 women that we know we had at the beginning, we were given that in the word problem, if we take 20 and divide by 48, this is going to give us the decimal representation for the number of women in the meeting. So 0.416 repeated, let's multiply this by 100 to convert to percent. Therefore, 41.6666666 repeated, that's the percentage of women in the meeting. Now, if we were to round this to the nearest tenth, that six would tell that six to go up to a seven. So approximately 41.7% of the people in the meeting were women. Let's be careful now. So let's take that 41.7 when we rounded. If we take 100% and we subtract 41.7%, check out this answer. 58.3% is what we have left over from 41.7%. Now that may be a little bit confusing there, but what I did is I figured out the percentage of women, I subtracted that percentage from 100, and whatever we have left over is going to be the percentage of men in the meeting. Be extra careful when you read these word problems, because in this case here, we were given women, we wanted to find the percentage of men. And there you have it, two more questions that are similar to uh, some of the things you're going to see in the mathematics section of the ATIT study manual. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.